Will we see an M3 MacBook Air at the Scary Fast event happening in a few days time or will we have to wait until 2024? I want to tell you all the details about this including the MacBook Air M3 release date and price. Now just before I get started I just want to quickly mention here that obviously if you haven't worked out already i'm from the uk great britain and i'm english and obviously the way how we say certain words might be different to the way other people say it in different parts of the world so for example the word air we say air whereas for example in other parts of the world you might say air for example the point is the english language is spoken in different parts of the world and different pronunciations of words sound different to everybody but this is the way how i say it and this is the way how the english say it here in great britain or the uk so after getting that out of the way today i want to cover what the new macbook air m3 will do for us with giving you everything on the specs and the latest on the macbook air 2023 release date and price but let's get started where we are with the macbook air so within the last two years we've had a brand new design 13 inch macbook air and just this year at wwdc 2023 we got introduced to the larger brother macbook air with a 15 inch display both these macbooks have big changes with a new design a new color magsafe 3 and of course the m2 chipset what's got around about 20 30 percent more power than the current m1 chipset both MacBook Airs are the only MacBooks to have no fan inside to give you a complete silent experience. But later on this year, in 2023, even bigger changes are expected for the 13-inch MacBook Air. So what I would say right now, it doesn't look like any of these changes that you're going to see in this video are going to be coming to the 15-inch MacBook Air as it's still so new. So this is just for the 13-inch model. We've had reports recently like from Ming-Chi Kuo telling us that the M3 chipset is coming at the fall of 2023 and the MacBook Air will be one of the debut devices to have this chipset inside. We've also had other reports telling us that Apple also have booked up most of the slots from TSMC who make Apple's chipsets with the M3 having a 3 nanometer die. The 3 nanometer die is very important as it means that the M3 transistors can be made even smaller and on top of this this would mean efficiency in speed and also power consumption before even Apple decide to add more cores or crank up the speed on those cores. With the M2 chipset being about 20 to 30 percent faster than the M1, the M3 could be around about 70 percent faster than what we got with the M1 with these improvements and it would be a worthy upgrade for anyone who's got an M1 MacBook Air or say the M1 MacBook Pro. This also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they could come true with the next generation of the MacBook Air. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next MacBook Air anyway. So, release date. By fall or autumn of 2023, the MacBook Air M2 will be coming near to 18 months old. When the M2 MacBook Air came out, the M1 MacBook Air had been out for about 18 months. It seems likely that Apple are going to be doing the same again and starting the M3 journey at the end of 2023. So, just recently, we've heard that the Scary Fast event is happening on October 30, what is literally a matter of days away. Now, obviously, one of the big questions is, will we see the new MacBook Air with an M3 chipset at this event? Well, to be honest, it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. We will probably see the M3 chipset, what I spoke about earlier, about all those slots being booked up, but it seems like to Mark Gurman here that it, no MacBook Air is coming and just literally the primary devices we're going to see at Scary very fast is the iMac with an M3 and we're also going to see the M3 Pro and the M3 Max put in likes in the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. What this essentially means then most likely come around springtime next year or even summer um, 2024 at WWDC that is when we will probably see the M3 chipset put inside the 13 and also the 15 inch MacBook Air. I quickly want to talk to you about the giveaway we're having on this channel right now and it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky viewer 
around the time of end of December to early January time. So that week between Christmas and New Year, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway stream revealing who the winner is for this iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it's really easy to enter in. All you have to do is leave a comment in this video here or any other videos coming up in the future telling me of what tech you're planning to buy in the remainder of 2023 or maybe into 2024. If this is Apple gear, Samsung gear, whatever gear, I'd love to know. Put it down in the comments below. And also at the same time, if you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get some notification of when that is actually happening. Because to be honest, December is not that far away. And I will just quickly say, guys, sadly, there are still spammers and scammers out there. Some of them still impersonating myself, telling you to part with money for shipping and things like this. This is not me at all. I'll be paying for shipping on this international gift giveaway so that means anyone can enter in in the world and i'll be paying for taxes and things like that too so you don't need to worry about any of that at all but if you do see any of these scammers or anything please do report them as you can see right here but let's move on and do a summary of what the 2023 macbook air is going to give us and its price as well so the macbook air m3 will have the normal 13.6 led retina display and this will come in at a resolution of 2560 by 1600 again we'll have the offerings of storage of 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes option if you wanted to pick that the brand new m3 chipset is most likely going to be coming this time round with that 10 core cpu and also a 12 core GPU, but most importantly is gonna be that three nanometer die that's gonna make everything more efficient and a bit more powerful too. We will probably still have the option between eight gigabytes and up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. And then the actual body itself will be very similar in design. It'll be an aluminum body or an aluminum body. And then obviously we'll get MagSafe 3, the two USB-C Thunderbolt ports as well. Nothing really is gonna change here. And the same with colors too we're going to get midnight space gray silver and that starlight the center stage camera is still going to be housed inside that notch and it'll be a 1080p camera and battery life will be up to 19 hours this time round mainly because of the efficiency in that m3 chipset and the prices they're likely to stay around about the same so with an 8 gigabytes of ram 256 storage that will cost you about 1199 us dollars but that will probably be a binned version of the m3 chipset then 512 gigabytes is 1399 one terabyte 1999 and then two terabytes be 1999 us dollars so that is a summary of the new macbook air m3 but my wishes for the macbook air I want to talk about those now, and that is to do with thermals. So as much as Apple have made the MacBook Air to have no fan inside of it, and we had this with the M1 and the M2, something tells me that with the M3, the chipset is gonna get even hotter than those two previous chipsets. So for this, I would actually like to see a return of the fan back inside the MacBook Air and for it to only kick in when it really needs to. So say when you're exporting a 30 minute 4K video, then three or four minutes into that export, the fan would kick in just to help with any kind of throttling issues. However, those are my thoughts and do you agree with them? Or do you think that the MacBook Air should remain fanless? Also share with me what your thoughts are for the M3 MacBook Air 2. Well guys, it's also time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure that you press the like button. At the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you soon. Bye bye.